What's up guys, it's me the Fanatic and welcome to a Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Battle. And shit, I've just dropped my stylus. Um, you guys might be thinking, what the hell is a Wi-Fi Battle? I know right, it's been some time, but the Pokemon Premier League is kicking off in less than 14 days. Well, if you want to be technical, something like 13 and a half hours. And I had to get some practice in. I haven't played Pokes in over a month. Apart from when I just played Sears and got absolutely destroyed. Not Sears, uh, Sizzbit I should say actually. Um... So, I really have to get back in the swing of things, but, you know, Sisbit's there being my coach a bit, giving me some ideas, you know, just putting some things in my head. He's helping a lot, actually. So, this is the same team that I used against Sisbit, so I haven't actually made any sort of changes yet, but, I mean, it's just six of the ten Pokemon from my draft for the PPL. So, honestly, if any of you PPL guys are there are scouting for some reason, there's going to be things changing. So, I, I wouldn't even bother bother. bother bother preparing your team honestly I really wouldn't um so yeah I'm playing a uh, Ben Solomon also known as oh, hang on let me don't let me murder his uh, Twitter name Zydro 21 that that's his Twitter name he's got Shaman Glaceon strapped as a huge threat Latias that's not a threat that's not a threat when you have Ments um, and Magneton which is also kind of cool uh, don't want him magnet pulling my Empoleon so I have to have to bear that in mind. Shall I Giazo this? Shall I Giazo his team? Let's Giazo his team. Just so I don't forget. Right, who should we lead off with? He's got... Mm. Honestly, I don't know what he's going to want to lead off with. I expect Staraptor. I honestly want to lead off with... Uh, my um, Raikou. This Raikou sets choice specs. But we'll see. I, I'm just testing things out. I'm sticking with the sets I kind of know um, at the moment. And then I'm going to just try and branch off and try different things. That's that's my way of approaching this. But I don't want to give my game too much away. I'm not a very good poker face. Let's just leave it at that. Right, so there's Spitfire, the uh, thing. And uh, if it has got the double edge, I may very well have a dead Raikou on my hands, but let's Volt Switch, if he's not Choice Scarfed, he does U-turn, which is good, that's fine by me, uh, it's not going to do much, oh my god, that done a lot, he's definitely Choice Scarfed though, because he outsped my uh, Choice Specs Timid Raikou, and I'm pretty sure Staraptor definitely doesn't, no, Staraptor definitely doesn't have over 115 base speed, so, honestly, that's fine, Oh baby, a trip. <laughs> that's a great nickname, that has to be said, um, he co in comes Magneton, now, now, I can bring in the Latias, not the Latias, sorry, I can bring in, he might have HP Ice, eh, I kind of want to go into, right, let's go into this, I'm Choice Scarf Terrakion, so I'm not too bothered, and then, I'm quite tempted to pull the... Double into Empoleon expecting the Latias. So I can get rocks up. But then he'll bring in Magneton. I have to get this Magneton dead. I'm very tempted to Toxic expecting the switch. Let's go for a Toxic expecting a switch. He does withdraw. I carry Toxic on my Choice Scarf to Rakion, I know. But one, it will confuse people. Two, it wins. It wins life. So there you go. There's a Toxic Latias. I know that's not standard. I'm giving my game away. <laughs> I'm giving my game away. Nah, I'm not. It's actually a re it's actually a recommended move by um, Smogan, which is kind of funny actually. So yeah, I res I obviously didn't want to go for the close combat. That was an obvious play. I wanted to. I could have gone for a Stone Edge, just to get some damage off. Right, he's Mega. So I wonder what move he will go for. I does this thing get Thunderbolt? I think it does. But honestly, I don't think any of its moves can really hurt me too much. Psy Shock. I am a specially defensive Empoleon, so this might do a good amount. Oh my god, that done nothing. Oh yeah, because I'm steel type. Duh. Now, I don't have Ice Beam on this Empoleon set. What do I have? I have Stealth Rock. Oh, hang on. I'm expecting the Magneton to come in here. So, do I Scald or do I Stealth Rock? What's his team? So, the Raptor's weak to rocks. So is Glaceon. Let's go for Stealth Rock. I don't know if this thing will want to have 
uh, will carry uh, Defog or not, but he's got two Pokemon extremely weak to Stealth Rock, so I'm kind of finding it important. He's obviously, yeah, I, I'm expecting him to go into Magneton here, but I'm also expecting I should be able to live. Oh, he goes into Shaman, okay. That's fine by me. I am especially defensive. I don't know how well I can take it. However, however, I do carry Tangrowth, and while I can't really do anything to this thing, it can't do anything to me unless it has Hidden Power Fire. So, let's go into Tangrowth. I can knock off. I get a free knock off on anything apart from Latios. So, that's my thought process. He might actually go for Aromatherapy here. Sea Flare, okay. So, I do get the switch into Squiggles. I, I know this is going to be a hard hitting special attack. Oh my god, what? Of course, of course, that's a crit. Jeez, that done way too much for a crit. I have to keep this thing. I have Regenerator. So in comes Ments, I think. That's got to be a Choice Specs thing. Choice Specs Modder Shaman or something stupid. That's ridiculous. How did it do that much? <laughs> That's so scary. Um, but Ments, I don't actually think Ments could even do much to this thing. I just kind of want to see how much the Sea Flare does. Um, it's four times resisted. So unless he has Hidden Power Ice, I don't think this thing can do much to me. Yeah, look at that. What does he have? <sighs> of course, of course he gets the special defense. Special defense drop, of course. Of course. Now, looking at this guy, my opponent's team, I don't think Ments is too important. So I'm just going to go for a Dragon Claw and see how much this does. Right, he's, he's choiced. He's definitely choiced. Oh baby, a triple. I was so close to hitting Earthquake. I went for Dragon Claw just to be safe. He might have hidden Power Ice on this thing. But then again, oh no, the special defense drop. That's annoying. That's annoying. I'm expecting him he's, that he's going to want a Volt Switch here. So I'm going to go out into Raikou. And take this lovely jubbly. I mean, even if he wants to go hidden Power Ice. It's like, this is either a... A what? What am I trying to say? This is either a Violet or Choice Scarf. No, it's not Choice Scarf, because it could be Choice Specs. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just scared this thing has Magnet Pool. Oh, he pulls a double. What's he gone out into? Spitfire. This is Raptor. Okay. So now he can start firing off big hits. And that worries me slightly. Terrakion is faster. What can Tangrowth do? Honestly, Tangrowth is weak to two things on his team. I'm just going to go into Tangrowth. He can U-turn if he likes. It's still frog damage. U-turn will not kill me, I'm pretty sure. If he wants the Brave Bird, that's fine. Um, he'll get all the recoil. He does U-turn, so that's good. Um, I should be able to live quite yeah, And then I can get some regenerate and leftovers too, which is nice. So I wonder... I wonder... If he'll go into his Shaman and go for a Hidden Power Ice. That's what I wonder. Because if he does, I can now make the play into Empoleon. Which I think is what I'm going to do, because I want Regenerator. This thing's a pain. Honestly, it's a huge pain. So let's go into Emperor. He's not going to be setting up any hazards, actually. He hasn't got anyone who can set up any hazards. So I'm really hoping he doesn't Seed Flare. If he does Seed Flare... I've got a free switch. Um, it's Salamence. Dazzling Gleam. There you go. He obviously expected the switch to Salamence. I'm not playing any games with you, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm not playing any games with you. So this Choice Shaman. Uh, what's he going to go into? He might go into Magneton. Which I'm sure he will. So then Terrakion could come in. But he's got Dazzling Gleam. And I don't want to mess around with Dazzling Gleam. So, let's just score and see what happens. He, he's definitely choiced, or he's bluffing it very well. Trident. He brings in his own Empoleon. Get this nice and burn. Go on, nice and burn. Nice and burn. Do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? No, of course not. Do I want to mess around and stay in here and try and get the burn? Honestly, I could. But I imagine he might want to set up his rocks. So what, he might carry Defog, he might not. I carry Defog on mine, and I sacrifice Ice Beam. If 
I mean, let's go into Squiggles. This thing might not be able to touch me if it only has Scald. Might not be able to. I kind of don't want to knock off that Shaman's Choice item there. He gets Earthquake. It's a physically offensive Empoleon. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Do I carry Toxic on this? I don't think so. I think I carry Sleep Powder. So I expect he's going to want a Seed Flare. Like, yeah, he's going to go into Shaman here. I click Sleep Powder just to be safe. There's Shaman. Um, I'm just going to stay in and see what he locks himself into. Because I can, I'm pretty sure, take a Seed Flare. Um, although his specs so actually... If I knock off his uh, choice specs, that's uh, like a massive threat gone. Do I want to? I'm going to power whip because I don't want to knock off his choice item. I want to see what he's going to lock himself into. Let's see what he does. I'm pretty sure Terrakion outspeeds his whole team. He does go for the Dazzling Gleam. I'm not switching out. I could have made the switch into Empoleon again. I live, which is nice. Hit the power whip. It won't do much. Just wanted to see what he locks himself into. So now, is he going to pull the double? Is he going to... No, is he going to pull the switch? Expecting... Uh, mm, I think he might switch. Expecting me to switch. He does! Perfect! Oh, this is what... This is what it was like. This is what it should be like when... I'm playing Pokemon. Making the plays. Knock off. Is that a choice band Empoleon or something? Salak Berry. Oh, hold up. That's scary. Torrent Salak Berry. So now what's he going to do? I think Mence is a really safe switch. Intimidate. Uh, he might have Waterfall Earthquake. If he's mixed with Ice Beam, I'm going to be pissed. I guess we'll find out. Please don't have Ice Beam. I can EQ for the kill. Oh, he's got Defiant though. That was so stupid. Knock off. Okay. How much is that going to do? Not much. I'll give you that Defiant boost. And then you can have this Earthquake. He might go into Latias. He might. He might. I'm, uh, I'll, be, I'll be kicking myself if I don't go for Dragon Dance and he switches here. If I was him, I think I'd just let this thing die. It's not going to help him. He does let it die, which is the right play, I think, in my mind. Right, and that's a, yeah, that's a dead Empoleon. So that's the first death and we're 10 minutes in. It's a tight game, though. Oh, I wish I had Moxie at this stage. He would have been at neutral rather than at plus one because of Defiant. And obviously, I'll be at plus one, which is just scary. Scary source for anything. Spitfire, that's his Doraptor, isn't it? If he wants to Brave Bird me here, that's completely fine. Mainly, he might think I'm actually choiced, which is interesting. Uh, I'm not. And he knocked off my leftovers, though, actually, so... I'm letting this thing kill me with Brave Bird, that's fine. And Polin can now freely come in and pretty much hurt something. Or even Terrakion. His, 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 his team will not appreciate close combat. I can afford to come in and close combat. Because I have so many switches. So I'm going to do it. This confirms I'm Scarfed. Honestly though, he has nothing. He has nothing safe. He can get a free switch into his Latias if he wants. But this thing is obviously... Honestly, I think it's the most threatening thing on his team. So I'm just going to let Terrakion go for that close combat. And I'm going to let that thing die. Right, so he's down two Mon. What's he got left? Shaman, Glaceon, Magneton and Latias. Mega. Which is poisoned. And at half health, along with Magneton. Oh, scary times. Scary, scary times. This Terrakion, though. This Terrakion, though. I'm going to be so annoyed. Actually, that Latias might have Healing Wish. Might. Urban Step. Which is Latias, like I thought. So, Rocks and Poison is going to start racking up. Honestly, I can safely switch into Empoleon here. Safely. Draco's resisted. Uh, unless it's Thunderbolt. 
Honestly, I don't think that'd do too much. Because Latias isn't as strong as Latios, who we've draws. Okay, so he's just wasting Stealth Rock damage. There's the Shaman. And he's going to Seed Flare. He's definitely going to Seed Flare. There's no reason for him not to. Now, now that thingy's gone. Question is, can I live? I'm going to Calc. Let's run a Calc. Quickly. Um, I am... Empoleon, specially defensive. Shaman. I highly doubt I can live this because you're not life orb, you're choice specs. So seed flare. Oh my god, it only does 48% timid life orb. Timid choice specs. Always calc for the worst, in my opinion. Holy crap, this thing does nothing to me. It really does nothing, seed flare. 55%. Earth power does more than... Oh, it's because it's neutral. It's neutral. Because of steel. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to Toxic. I know it gets natural cure, but... Seed Flare is neutral because of steel typing. I'm so stupid. I should have remembered that. Does he get a minimum roll? Oh, he gets the fucking special defense drop, though, doesn't he? Of course he does. Put this thing on a timer. Make it, forcing him to switch in and out, because it has natural cure. Um, what does he have left? He has... He has got that Glaceon. And, honestly, Imponent would be nice. So, who should I sack? I still haven't even bought out Zam yet. Mega Zam could win me the game. I'm going to sack off... Um, Tangro for this stage. I don't think Tangro is going to offer much. And plus I can knock off. I mean, Seed Flare is going to do over... Uh, it's going to be enough for a two-hit KO. Oh, he misses! <gasps> oh, that's important. I think that's important. That's fair to say it's quite important. Now, is he going to switch here? Is he going to switch? Or not? He might. I honestly think he might. Because he's poisoned. Yeah, he does. So I've gone for the Leech Seed, which is a nice play. He's going to go into Glaceon. Yeah, he hasn't bought this thing in yet. Now, I want to say, this thing gets freeze-dry, and that's quite... Oh, I'm, oh. I guess now we're even. Now we're even. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna knock off. I think it might be a salt vest. He gets a shadow ball, he over-predicts. He over-predicts, and I do live. Oh, man, he's getting so many special defense drops. Knock off. Please get rid of that assault vest. It is Assault Vest, so now I'm very confident that Earthquake from Megazam... Uh, Earthquake from Megazam? What? Psychic from Megazam will kill. I'm very confident of that now. So he's gone for the Shadow Ball again. I'm sacking this thing off now. If I... Yeah, I die. So now... Now, I could go into Terrakion, actually. And... Close combat might even just clean up the game. I'm going to go into Alakazam. Because I want Alakazam to do something. So I've got Magic Guard. Let's Mega Revolve. Let's... Do I sub? Is he going to stand in Shadow Ball? I don't know. Let's Mega Revolve and Psychic. That's going to hit everything on his team. Pretty much dead. Almost. Maybe apart from... Well, apart from Latias and Magneton. Oh, Mega Alakazam, you sexy beast. And what do I trace? Ice body, probably. Snow cloak. Ah, there's no hail, anyway. Psychic. That's a dead glacier, it has to be. Max special attack. Yeah, it's dead. So he's down to three Pokemon. Now, I'm pretty sure, unless it's timid Latias, it might not be able to outspeed me. Right, so here comes Obabia triple. I might, might be able to live. So let's go for Focus Blast. I outspeed anyway, and I hit the Focus Blast. Which is perfect, because he missed one last game. This is game. I honestly think this is game, if I outspeed. Ah, oh, I think Megazam is making up for what it lacked last video. Or not last video, last battle I had. Shadow Ball? Honestly? Might not even KO. If this does, it's really nice information. The Latty Megas are banned in the PPL. Because they're just so good. It, 
doesn't kill Megalatias, which is interesting, actually. It will die to Toxic. I might even be able to take this. Yeah, I do. Mega Sam's got decent special defense. I think it's base 85 on a very small 55 uh, HP, of course. But I do live. Honestly, I think that was his, that was his last hope. He's got Shaman now, and he isn't outspeeding me unless he's Scarfed. Max speed Scarf will outspeed because I'm modest nature. But Alakazam, base 150 speed. There's not, there's, there's like literally very few mon that can outspeed it. It might even be the fastest Mega. No quote on that, but. Mega Zam with the late game cleanup. That's how you win. That's how you win with Mega Zam, guys. Awesome game there, Ben. Slash, um, oh my god, I've forgotten his name already. Um. Wait, where is it? Zydro21, that's the one. Good game, dude. I enjoyed that one. I really did. Mainly because I won, but honestly, I felt like I was right in there with the plays. Um, and now I'm starting to starting to feel the belief in Tottenham Hot Esper here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you uh, leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, I'll leave a link to Ben's Twitter in the channel. Uh, in the channel, in the description, sorry. Not sure if he has a YouTube channel. His Twitter description doesn't have anything, so... Um, I'm not sure. Maybe he, he can tell me if he does. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you to all the new subs who've come over because of the PPL. Hopefully there's many more of you to come. Hopefully you enjoyed this battle. Other than that, guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.